Hey Aquarius, welcome, welcome. We're gonna get started with these oracle cards here. We'll see what the universe has to say to you today. See if we're talking about, about love, maybe talking about some money coming our way. Maybe we're working towards a new job or some sort of goal. Let's see what we got here. Woo, so we got chaos and conflict. So I wonder what this is all about. Maybe we got someone uh, in our life who we're dealing with some conflict. I have exchanging gifts uh, as well. I'm deep knowing, which tends to speak to wisdom. Hmm. A never ending story. Uh, to me, the never ending story represents that our lives kind of are a never ending story. They're forever changing, forever growing. Uh, and to not feel like when one bad thing happens, it's the end of the world because it's not. Everything is always uh, changing and growing with us. I have Yang and Yang represents a time uh, to act. I feel like we might be talking about um, maybe mending fences here with this exchanging gifts. This gift might be uh, might be an olive branch. I have between worlds, which represents transition as well, and time for a nap, which speaks of sort of taking time for self care, looking after yourself. Come to the edge, which speaks of a leap of faith. Hmm, I feel this leap of faith definitely tied into this conflict and chaos by the book. And I have co-create, which speaks of working together uh, as a team with someone. This might be a way to reach out um, to this person. Maybe this is even a business partner and someone you're trying to, someone you're trying to create a life with, trying to create a business with. Uh, and you guys are arguing. But I feel like the cards are definitely uh, encouraging mending that fence. I think it, we're speaking to wisdom, we're speaking to taking a chance, reaching out to that person, offering an olive branch. Let's see what I got. I have the Ten of Wands, which represents feeling overwhelmed or overburdened. Um, I feel like you feel like you have a lot on your shoulders right now. And that's what's so overwhelming. I feel like it's in multiple areas of your life. Like work, like career, but also with this conflict and this chaos card now having some extra sort of interpersonal drama on top of that. This justice card represents balancing the scales. I have the devil card as well, and the devil card can speak to a destructive force in your life. I don't feel like it speaks to a person. I feel like it speaks to this, this conflict and this chaos and not addressing it and trying to solve it, just letting it fester, it will become a destructive force in your life. The Knight of Swords uh, represents a uh, triumph with truth and clarity. I feel like it's tying in, it's tying into this deep knowing card, this wisdom. I feel like uh, this time for a nap card is encouraging you to sort of take time and reflect about your situation, reflect about what's going on, this conflict, uh, which I feel is with someone. I also have this King of Swords. Uh, some of the qualities that go with the King of Swords is he is not very open with his feelings. He is not talking about his feelings. I feel like this is part of what's going on is that nobody's saying how they feel and then everybody's imagining how the other person feels and is getting more and more pissed off. So I feel like it's kind of snowballing here um, and clearing the air is needed. This Yang card taking action to clear the air is going to be a big part of starting to mend fences and bring healing. I feel like that's what the Between World cards is speaking to as well. I feel like that's the transition um, is being able to heal this relationship and move forward. Like this relationship is sort of in a transitional uh, phase or in sort of a limbo because nobody's getting along. So, but I feel like it could go one way or it could go the other based on whatever choices that you make. The Five of Wands definitely represents conflict. The Five of Swords speaks to selfish or short one victories. So someone feels like someone else is being selfish. I do have the Six of Cups. I see the word uh, family. When I see the Six of Cups, it usually speaks to someone or something from your past. Um, but I definitely see the word family. I feel like that's Part of what's going on here, maybe there's there's something that you're trying to do with your family. Somebody feels like one person is putting in more work than the other. It's creating a conflict, it's creating hard feelings, some separation, and nobody's talking about it. The Six of Wands represents triumph over obstacles, and the Knight of Cups represents an emotional victory, and I feel like this is what you're going to get by addressing these issues, by clearing the air, and then trying to maybe, even you need to negotiate a new way of doing things. I have uh, the Four of Wands, which represents setting down a solid foundation for a home life and a happy future. 
and the Ten of Cups, uh, which speaks to abundance in the home life. I feel like these are the things that you can attain by bringing about change. The Nine of Wands represents a journey over time. Um, I don't feel like this has been going on for a huge amount of time. I feel like there's still more to this journey. Um, so it's not like you're sitting at the beginning, but you're not sitting at the end. You're sitting sort of somewhere in here and there's still quite a bit more to go. Um, and I feel like it's speaking to this co-create, whatever you're doing. I feel like there's, there's more success to be had here. But you need to mend these bridges. You need to mend these fences so that both of you guys can get back on so that it does not bring about the tower card. The tower card represents a sudden and disappointing ending. I feel like if this carries on, this is what can happen. I do have the queen of pentacles. She speaks of generosity, of kindness, and of caring. I feel like she's speaking to you needing to be the one to step forward, to be generous, to extend the olive branch and get the ball rolling on this. I have the Wheel of Fortune card, which represents your fortunes changing for the better, right next to the Sun card, which speaks of positive things manifesting for you. The Ace of Pentacles represents new beginnings. Pentacles does tend to speak to money. Um, I feel like there's a duality into, into this card as well. I feel like it speaks to this partnership and healing this relationship, having a new beginning to it. But I also feel like it's this thing that you're co-creating and starting to see some success in it by being able to do sort of these issues in this inner conflict. Um, and sort of bury the hatchet and move forward and come back together as a team, I feel like you will start to see the fruits of that labor. The Nine of Cups represents abundance and cups is all about emotion. So I see a whole lot of happiness and celebration in this Nine of Cups card. I have the King of Cups as well. I feel like he is symbolic in this read. Again, cups represents emotion. So he's the king of emotion. So all those wonderful, beautiful emotions that come along with that. Um, so we got happiness and self-esteem and confidence and empowerment. I feel like this is what you're going to get from healing this bond, healing this relationship. I have the Nine of Pentacles, uh, which represents happiness and abundance as well. You can see all those pentacles. I feel success in that card. I feel like this is something that the two of you can have together by sorting this shit out. Uh, the Seven of Swords represents a situation which you felt was unfair. I feel like it's tying in to this Five of Swords. Someone feels like someone else is being selfish, uh, but it is definitely time to sort this out because I do have the Judgment card. She is all about karma and getting back what you put out into the world. And if you are willing to put yourself out there, extend this olive branch and do the work to heal and mend this relationship, I feel like you're going to be rewarded equally with this Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, which represents good news on the way. I feel like this page of wands is also speaking to what you're going to get by opening up to this person. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised about how it goes. I think they're looking to heal just as much as you are. I have the seven of wands. The seven of wands can speak to uh, sort of standing up for your ideals, drawing your line in the sand. To me, it speaks of taking back control of the situation. So not allowing things to keep festering uh, and going the way that they're going. Being able to step up and be the one to extend the branch. Um, and sort of help to start the, the mending process. I have the Six of Pentacles. I see abundance and generosity in that Six of Pentacles. So I feel like it's speaking to the generosity of you being able to step forward, be the one who starts the ball rolling on the healing. But also I feel like it speaks to this Ace of Pentacles and, and this Nine of Pentacles and this success that's going to come your way from being able to heal this relationship. I do have the Lover's card here. I don't feel like this is a romantic relationship at all. I feel like this is family. I feel like this speaks to renewing the bond. Uh, it speaks to sort of bringing that love back into the relationship. And like I said, not a romantic love. I feel like this is more of a family thing um, that needs to get sorted out. But definitely it is taking a toll on everyone. And like that Yang card said, now is the time to act to bring about healing. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me today. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Uh, please feel free to comment if it resonated with you. I would love to hear about it. And feel free to like or subscribe. Alrighty guys, take care.